It was a calm and peaceful night. The moonlight softly illuminated the living room, casting long shadows over the furniture. Tom, as usual, was sleeping on his favorite cushion, snoring quietly, completely unaware of the mischief brewing nearby. Jerry. The clever little mouse had been eyeing the stash of snacks hidden in the kitchen for days. He knew this was his chance under the cover of darkness when Tom was at his most vulnerable. Tonight, Jerry was planning the ultimate midnight heist. With the faintest of squeaks, Jerry tiptoed out of his hole in the wall and peeked around the corner. Tom was out cold, blissfully unaware. Perfect. Jerry made his way to the kitchen, the shiny knob of the cupboard glinting in the moonlight, calling to him like a treasure chest waiting to be opened. But just as he reached the cupboard, he froze. A creak echoed through the house. Jerry's whiskers twitched nervously. Tom had stirred in his sleep. For a tense moment, Jerry stood perfectly still, barely breathing, waiting for Tom to settle down. After what seemed like an eternity, Tom rolled over and resumed his snoring, Jerry smirked. That was close, but he was too smart to be caught so easily. With newfound confidence, he climbed up to the cupboard and pried it open. Inside was a glorious array of snacks, crackers, cheese, and even a jar of peanut butter. His eyes sparkled as he grabbed as much as he could carry. But as Jerry stuffed his tiny arms full of food, a shadow loomed behind him. Tom, groggy but suspicious, had woken up. He could smell the peanut butter and knew exactly who was behind the midnight disturbance. Tom crept up silently. His eyes narrowed, preparing to pounce, but Jerry, always alert, caught sight of Tom's reflection in the shiny toaster. In a split second, he dropped the snacks and leapt off the counter, sprinting toward the nearest escape. Tom lunged, but he was too slow. Jerry darted under the kitchen table, zigzagging between chair legs with Tom hot on his tail. The chase was on and the quiet night had turned into a full-blown spectacle. Jerry, thinking quickly, climbed up a chair leg and onto the dining table. Tom followed, only for Jerry to shove a large fruit bowl right into Tom's face. Apples and oranges flew everywhere as Tom tumbled off the table, landing in a heap on the floor, but Tom wasn't done yet. He scrambled to his feet, determination in his eyes, and grabbed a broom from the corner. With a wide swing, he tried to knock Jerry off the table, but the quick mouse ducked just in time. The broom swung wildly, hitting a nearby cabinet and causing a stack of plates to come crashing down. Tom, now buried under a pile of broken dishes, poked his head out from the wreckage, dazed but still in the game. Jerry, sensing victory, decided to taunt him one last time. He stood on the edge of the table, holding a cracker and gave Tom a little wave. Furious, Tom jumped up with a final burst of energy, but Jerry was too fast. The mouse leapt off the table and dashed back into his hole, safe and sound. Tom, exhausted and defeated, slumped onto the floor, panting heavily. Jerry, meanwhile, sat comfortably in his hole, munching on his stolen cracker, smiling to himself. Another successful heist. The house was once again quiet. The only sound was the gentle crunching of Jerry's snack as Tom drifted back to sleep, plotting his next attempt to catch that sneaky little mouse. But for now, the night belonged to Jerry.